Why are you doing this? Obviously, I'm doing it for charity. Personally, I'd do it anyway, because it's not a physical challenge, it's mental. We arrived on top of the Sahara in the middle of a sandstorm. We have got quite far to travel. Hopefully, the wind's going to die down. The sand's coming from my goggles, so I can't see the bottom. It's just going everywhere. We can't move that fast at all. It's like every 10 meters I've got to stop, clear my goggles, clear my eyes, carry on. It's like a comedy scene. Not ideal. Let's have another go at this. Day three, and for the first time, no wind. A lot of the challenges that we've had on this trip, I couldn't train for, like the wind. You'll figure it out on the way. Halfway through the Sahara, I've got four more days of completed four. We're actually going to go for the world record attempt today. For the record, I've got to get a minimum of 5.5k in an hour. We did it. We got 5.86 kilometers within the hour. <laughs> Finished lunch, day five. Very, very warm. We were behind on the schedules, so we're gonna go for another two hours. The hardest bit is yet to come. Tomorrow, I think, is gonna be our last big day. We have to do at least 20, if not a little bit more. I'm really tired now. I think you just got to break it back down to the most basic things and, you know, survive. <laughs> We actually did over 100k, which is bonkers, probably because of the lines in and out, but yeah, this is our final stop. Proper camp. We can chill, get some food, and then tomorrow, back to civilization. It's how you approach those times where you just don't want to do it. it. Tells you a lot about yourself, really. Most important thing is doing the best you can. Keep moving forward. Anyway, it's part of the journey. 